Now we're going to move on to the last component of our profile page, which is the ability to follow and unfollow users. If we're looking at another user's profile, we want the ability to follow them. So we're going to change the edit profile to a follow button. If we're already following them, we also want the ability to unfollow them. The idea behind this is that when we follow a user, we want to get their posts, both past and present posts, or future posts, and display it on our timeline page. So that's the last page that we haven't built out yet, but when we follow a user, we're going to grab all of their previous posts, as well as in the future any new posts that they make, and add it to this feed, this long scrolling list of posts, which will include our own. But for right now, we're going to work on the UI for our follow and unfollow buttons, and what's going to take place in our database whenever we follow or unfollow a user. So we're going to cover how to create this feed in the next number of videos. But to give you an idea of what's going to take place when we follow someone, we're going to have a collection called followers. Again, like many of our collections, it's going to be linked to a user's ID. And then this is going to have a sub collection of user followers. So for example, let's say we want to follow a given user. We tap on their follow button. And on this followers path, we take their ID and add to their user followers collection our own ID. So imagine that this is our own ID. And then we basically do the opposite for following. We have a following collection. And to get our following, we'd need to include our ID. So imagine this is our ID once again. We have a sub collection of user following. And since we're following this new user, we're going to add their ID to this user following collection. We don't need to add any fields or anything like that. We just need to add their ID like so. So we're going to have this long list of documents of just IDs at the very end of each of these paths. So hopefully that makes sense. That'll make a lot more sense in just a bit, especially when we start to make our feed functionality. So now let's create our buttons by going to the profile.dart file, and we're going to add a couple more conditions to build profile button. And these conditions are going to be based off of a new piece of state called is following. This will be a boolean and by default it'll be set to false. So heading back down to build profile button. If we're not looking at our own profile, then we're going to say else if is following. Are we following the user whose profile we're looking at? If we're already following them, then we want to have the unfollow button to unfollow them. So we're going to return an execution of build button. We're going to build our button where the text is unfollow and the function is handle unfollow user. So let's quickly make that. And for our last condition, we'll add else if is not following. So not is following. If we're not following a user, we obviously want their the button in the profile to be follow and the function handle follow user. So we'll go ahead and create that function too. And now to change the appearance of these two buttons, let's head to our build button function and add a conditional where within our flat button for our text widget, if we're following a given user, we'll conditionally set the color here. So if is following is true, we'll set the color to colors.black, otherwise colors.white. Then for the box decoration for its color, if is following is true, we'll set the background to colors.white otherwise colors.blue and then for the border if 
is following is true, we'll set it to colors.gray, otherwise colors.blue. So now let's save, and assuming you have another user in your app, we'll navigate to that user. I'll search for them. And we should see the follow button for their profile. 